Welcome all to the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel and in this video the Kai J Shrine also known as Quick Thinking. In this video I will show you where to find the location of the shrine, how to get the shrine quest, how to unlock the shrine and how to finish the shrine when you get inside. The shrine is located in the Farron region on the beach northeast of Lurelin village. We start this video at the previous visitor's shrine, the J Rin Shrine, which is located west of Lurin village. Need help finding that shrine? Click the link in the right upper corner now for the previous shrine quest. In order to find the KJ Shrine of this video, we're gonna open our map, then go to the Northeast of Lurlin Village, right here, and place a pin. Now, the easiest way is just to walk towards there. Just glide down straight to Lurlin Village. By the way, this is gonna be a long video because the quest is taking a lot of our time. So that you know. I will place some markers in the timeline so you know exactly where to go if you have finished some part of the quest or the shrine already. Just keep continuing to the shrine. I'm trying to avoid the beach as much as I can because I don't want to run into some enemies. Because I don't like fighting. I'm a lover, not a fighter. When we reach the top here, just jump off and glide down. Uh oh, some enemies. Well, when you gotta fight, you gotta fight. But otherwise, I'm really not a big fan of fighting. Defeated. Now let's continue. More keys on the way. That's what you get when it's dark. You can see here two platforms. Ha, huh, blue blob. Seriously? Leave me alone. So, two platforms, which indicates there might be a shrine nearby. Hmm. Sorry about that, I was in the zone. Did you need something? What are you doing? I was just examining this stone monument. This place has a very spiritual aura on it. Do you feel it? I recently realized that there is writing engraved on this stone monument. So now I'm trying to figure out what exactly is written here. Can I help? Ah, so you're curious type too. This stone monument was once much larger, but it broke apart during an earthquake a while back. If you really want to help, help me find the missing fragments, will you? They'll be scattered all around. I think the fragments had the same of scripts carved into them. If you find a fragment, please draw a picture of it and bring it to me. I'll be here finishing my examination on the stone monument. Oh, right. And the words on the stone monument glow with eerie light at night. Hey, that rhymes. That should make them easier to find. One of them should be right around here. Please, find that first. A fragment monument shrine quest. Well, open your map because we need to fulfill this quest in order to unlock the shrine. Go to the right part here, 
place a pin exactly there. The other fragment is located here in the water on those little, let's call it small islands. And the last one here at Soka Point, on the point. Three fragments to be found and they're all there. First, let's go for the most easy one. Just walk towards it, and somewhere here on the ground, you can see it laying. Get your camera, and make a photo of the monument shard. Close your camera. Now turn around and just move back to the fella. Or you could continue finding the other shards. But since he said, well, get that one first, let's go back to him now. Did you find any fragments of the stone monument? I sure did. Hmm, some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. I suppose the waves may have washed some away or pulled them on the water. The letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night, so you might want to try looking for them. Well, up to the second one. The one that is located in the well, it's basically rubble in the water. Small stones, some boxes, a barrel it seems, more barrels. And here, between the rocks, you can find it. Open your camera again and make a photo on the next monument shot. Close your camera and I'll continue. Just cross over here. You need to be careful because, as you can see, it's raining and climbing when waning is not so easy. So make sure you jump at the right moment to make this jump. And now for the least interesting part, we have to walk all the way around this island. And then back, of course, to get the last piece of the monument shard. You might want to be careful here, because there are more enemies than you would expect. Enemies such as these blue blobs that come out of the ground. But also some moblins. So what I like to do is to try to keep on the left side of this island near the water as much as I can. Just to avoid battle. As you can see, I'm not speeding up this video, because I want you to be able to follow every step I take in this video, that you don't have to scroll back and forth in the video to make it able to follow me. I know it takes a little bit longer, but it makes things easier for you as well, I guess. Just keep left and keep continuing. You just can avoid pretty much all enemies here. And there in the distance we can see a different shrine already. But that's a shrine for in a other video somewhere in the future. So when we're at the end of this island, at the most pointy point, there's the last fragment. Open your camera and make another photo of the monument shard. Now, just turn around and walk this whole goddamn part back.
By the way, if you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. That helps with the discoverability and the growth of the channel a lot. And that is what we need to grow the channel. What we also need to grow the channel is to have more subscribers. Currently, we are at 439 subscribers. We can grow because most of the people watching my videos is not even subscribed to the channel. So change that. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet. And don't miss my other future upcoming videos, guides, all sorts of content that is coming up. I also stream games live on Twitch. And with Tears of the Kingdom incoming next month, we will do a six or seven day stream of Tears of the Kingdom every single day. Feel free to check it out. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below. It would be fun meeting you there someday. And let's just talk about gaming, Zelda and other fun stuff. There in the distance you can see the previous shrine we did, the Jairin shrine. Where we actually started. <laughs> yeah, it's closer than you think. Alright, the last part of this walk. When at the edge, with the rubble in the water, jump and glide down. You might have to swim a little bit for it. And then when you're at the other side, you pretty much are back where we started. Or at least back where we picked up the shrine quest. Let's talk to that fella. Did you find any fragments of the stone monument? I sure did. That's a one. Hmm. Hmm. Perfect. You have more? And that's number two or three. That's amazing! Excellent. Thanks to you, I've got a good shot at deciphering the monument. Give me a second to see if I can put this all together. Wow! Thanks to you, I've deciphered the entire passage. When the two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. Ah! I haven't the foggiest what that's supposed to mean. Let's stand there and kneel. Huh? Is that it? The other one kneels. It starts to glow. And the amazing made possible. The shrine erupts from the ground up. Up, up. And more up. Until it's finally revealed itself. Welcome shrine. A fragment monument shrine quest complete. The Kaya Shrine. Let's get in. To you who sets foot in the shrine, I am Kayai. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. Quick thinking, Kaya Shrine. First, let's go to the right here and pick up a barrel. Now we have to wait until the platform 
comes our way to get on top of it. And as the title already mentioned, it is quick thinking. So we need to think and act quickly. Get on the platform, drop the barrel and draw your bow. Shoot the diamond there. Turn around and shoot the diamond again to make sure that the gates open and close perfectly so you can pass through. At the other side, go stand on the switch and drop the barrel there and the gate at the start opens. Let's go back to that gate, pick up some arrows on the way that you shot. Let's get up and open the chest. And a nice knight's claymore is inside with a strength of 38. Now to the other side. Do exactly the same. Pick up a barrel and wait for the platform to return. You would think after such a long shrine quest that it is just go in and pick up the spirit up. Too bad it's not with the shrine. But that's totally fine, we got you covered in this video. So you know exactly what to do. Okay, go stand on the platform. And now we have to avoid these small gate parts there. So go stand left and kneel. Pick up the barrel and go to the right there in order to pass through. Now at the end, again, stand on the switch, a gate opens, Place the barrel on the switch. Now, jump off. Go back up here. Through the gate that is opened. And open the treasure chest. And a small key is inside. Now, the easiest part. Walk up here. Use your small key to open the door. Go stand before the monk and press A. Your resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Spirit Orb, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. May the goddess smile upon you. Bye bye. Thank you for the Spirit Orb. Well, we did it. We finished this long video. And we got a new Spirit Orb. Thank you so much for watching and see you all next time in a new Shrine Guide video. This is Michael signing off. See ya.